actually would like to include the IC Systems logo on this template. And I think the best place to do that is in the upper left-hand corner. And that will end up being, I guess, it will look like part of my banner. So to get the IC Systems logo in here, I'm going to use a graphics frame. So the graphics frame icon is in the upper left-hand corner right near the text box. So I'll do the same thing as I did with the text box, where I'll click it once, drag it to the workspace, and click again. And my logo is a file on my computer, so I need to find it and put it in this box. So to do that, I double-click on the graphics frame, and I'll use the panel to bring up a browser window that I can find, use for finding the, the file. So I'm going to select Import from File, and the logo is located in this folder, so I'm going to open it, and it will appear in the graphics frame, but it's too big to fit in this small space, so I'm going to use the option in the graphics frame panel to size the image to the frame. And now I can make the frame and the image work together. And the next thing I'm going to do is drag it to the upper left-hand corner, and it's going to go on top of this, um, the, the text box. Now, if you do the same thing um, on your computer, and for some reason, when you drag the text box up here, you don't see it, or the graphic up to the text box, if it disappears, that's because it's below this um, text box. And you would need to right-click on the text box and send it to the back. And then that will fix that issue. So um, that's how you add a graphics frame to the banner.